Alrighty, let's see what is going on in the world of The Sims. Alright, welcome back guys. Welcome to another Sims video. Today we're going to be browsing YouTube, seeing what other people are up to once again. Last time we did this, we had a lot of fun watching a video by Deligracy. What's this? I tried a Sims supply tutorial, The Sims 4. I'm a better builder. So I thought what better opportunity than right now to try it again and see what we can find. So let's go on YouTube. Oh, I got, I got a nice big ad for hashtag made by Google. Google Pixel 2. Okay, I don't want that. I've, I'm an iPhone guy, so I'm not going to worry about that. Let's just search up the Sims and see what we have. Okay. Uh, hold up. Oh, whoa. The Sims 5 official announcement trailer. 1.2 million views from six hours ago. It's time for a brand new generation of The Sims introducing The Sims 5. Hold on, wait, how, wait, how did I even miss this? I mean, it is the morning here, so I guess I, I probably didn't see it. All right, well, let's let's go ahead. I mean, yeah, here it is, The Sims 5 official announcement trailer, 48,000 likes, 1.2 million views. Okay, well, it definitely looks like I'm late to the bandwagon on this one, but I mean, we gotta, we gotta watch this. If they, It's kind of weird that they just announced my first pet stuff like the other day with that weird trailer that no one was too fond of. But maybe they thought, hey, what better time than now to announce The Sims 5? So I guess let's go ahead and uh, check out this trailer. So let's just watch it through first and then afterwards we'll go back through it and uh, see what's what and do a little bit of analysis. But first off, language, mild blood, partial nudity and violence. <laughs> it sounds like my kind of game. Oh, wow. Wow. Oh, my God. Are you kidding me? It's available March 2019. So that's only a year. That's a year from now. So we've got a little bit of a wait. But man, as soon as I saw terrain editing in that, it's finally back. Did you see that? Oh, man. So there was a lot of cool stuff in that. But let's go back through it and uh, see. Let's have a look at things a little bit closer. Okay. So let's, uh, let's go through the start here and see what we got. So brand new logo. First of all, knocking that S right out of there. Uh, the Sim 5, although I guess it's probably The Sims 5, but eh, I mean, it definitely says The Sim 5, so I don't know if that's probably the way you'd want to go. Uh, but here, looking at Create a Sim, uh, looks really, really nicely detailed. Looks like there's a lot more options. And they seem to have gone back to the, the sliders that we had in The Sims 3. You can see we sort of click and drag and all that. It looks like we've got a lot of color choices. Not sure that... Uh, we can, well, how much we can do with it though. However, it does look, I don't know if you just saw that, if we just go back like a tad, uh, if we go back like here, there's like a real, like there's a couple frames where if they, when you watch like the torso, they adjust her height. Look at that, she, she just went up a little bit. <laughs> They've added height into the game, finally. And it looks like we have a pretty robust tattoo system and looks like we could, uh, let's go back a little bit. There's so much information in this. It, it also looks like we can sort of pose the Sims here a little bit. Uh, so I guess we can get them into like, you know, get a good photos in Creator Sim and all that. And then jumping into the game. Now this looks incredible. It really, really does. I mean, we can be a hero, be a villain, they say. I mean, I guess that's probably talking about the player. Uh, uh, also, hold up. Look at that. In the top left, it says server offline. So it looks like this is going to be the first properly online Sims game. I mean, like... Sims main game, obviously we had the Sims online, which was online, but you know, Sims 1, 2, 3, 4, not being online. Looks like this could actually be online in the end. Uh, and you can see a little bit of the world there. It looks like we're in some sort of rundown neighborhood, maybe in the ghetto or something like that. Uh, this could be a good place to start a Rags to Riches series, actually. 
And it looks like we got pets straight from the start here too. Uh, so we've got a bunch of animals that we can actually uh, play around with by the looks of it. Uh, and so we got new careers, which look like we can actually go along on the career too, because we're being a hunter and a fighter and also a warrior. Like all, you know, and we're actually seeing it too, which is, I think is really, really cool. But I do wonder, because they did, the logo says The Sim 5, right? And we're kind of focusing on just one sim at a time. So I wonder if they've done away with like families and just gone, let, hey, let's focus on one sim and uh, see how they go. But not too sure about that. But uh, look, like so far, it looks like we can go along on the workday. We've got pets, uh, which is fantastic. Uh, the creator sim looks like it's massively improved. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Actually, did you see that? If we go back a little bit, we actually have... Uh, so we got... It looks like they've got controller support now, because that says press A to talk. I don't know if you saw that, but uh, controller support as well, which is pretty sweet. So maybe it comes to console straight away instead of The Sims 4 where it only recently came out. Uh, now we've got the new build mode here, which uh, looks pretty pretty robust. It seems like we've got sort of all the items come in big sort of block pieces, which is, I don't know how I feel about that, but it looks like you can still do a lot with it. Get the trees down. I'm just sort of pausing it so we can get a good look at this. And it kind of, it actually looks like they've finally done the thing where we can place windows anywhere. Because, I mean, first of all, if you see there's that window on the ground down over there. So it looks like they're sort of able to put them anywhere. And actually, moving around. Now, this is what I was absolutely most excited about. Terrain editing is finally back. I mean, look at this. They are, they're just showing off at this point. <laughs> they're absolutely... We've got a whole terrain editor as well. Look at all that. The push-pull flatten. And, uh... Oh, and look, this is cool. This is something never, we've never been able to do in a Sims game before. If I pause right there, you can see that uh, we've got terrain coming over and you can sort of still go underneath. So that means you could, in theory, build a house down here and have it sort of built into the cliff. And oh my God, there's a lot of potential with that. One thing that does concern me though, is if you look up the top left, they have the frame rate in the trailer there and it is only 30 FPS. Uh, but maybe it's going to be so intense that we, uh, maybe we need new hardware. Maybe that's why we have to wait a year for it to come out. But we can, I'm so excited though. Like, look at this as well. Just putting the trees there. There's only a couple of trees, but they're all different heights. And the way they're rotating them, really smoothly placing them too, is fantastic. And that's the trailer. That's the entire trailer. So the, the Sim 5, the Sims 5 official trailer. Actually, the logo, apart from the fact that they got rid of the S and replaced it with a 5, which is a bit strange. I like that they've sort of brought back that house motif because the Sims original logo had like the, the sort of roof over it and like the little house and all that. So I think that is actually really cool. And it's still got the elements of the Sims 4 logo, uh, which I think is quite nice as well. And then, yeah, at the end here, you can see The Sims 5 available March 2019. Stay tuned for more. Okay, I didn't, I gotta, gotta be honest, did not expect that when rolling up to YouTube today. <laughs> did not expect to find a trailer for The Sims 5, uh, which... Honestly, it's really strange because I would have thought that I would have at least heard about it somewhere. Someone would have tweeted me or I would have got an email about it because normally there's like press releases and all that stuff. But um, there it is, a Sims 5. Is there any other little details that we have missed through here? I do like that uh, it almost looks like the, the Sims Plum Bob, if we have a look at it while we sort of... The way the Plum Bob sort of moves around seems pretty... I don't know, it seems kind of nice. It's like a little bit different. It seems like it's like smaller and closer to their head almost. So it's not as prevalent. So maybe they're kind of almost phasing, not phasing it out, but, you know, making it a little bit less like, hey, here's your Sims needs. I guess because if it is the Sim 5 and if we are playing with one Sim, like the logo suggests, then it could actually make sense because you wouldn't really need a huge plumb bob if you're sort of focusing on one Sim. Like if we're fixed into like a third person camera, which it almost seems like we are because you can see the camera is sort of attached to the Sim. Which, I don't know, I don't know how I feel about that, because it means if we, uh, if it is just focusing on one scene, we don't have families, then that's gonna, I guess, make a lot of people feel like they've missed out. You know, like, uh, they'll be like, well, The Sims 4 had families and toddlers and all that, and The Sims 5 doesn't even have families. But, for me personally, I don't really even like playing with families, and I love doing rags to riches stuff. So it looks like one of the worlds we're gonna get, like I said earlier, is like this sort of run down uh, sort of neighborhood, almost perfect for rags to riches, especially if we're only playing with one sim. Like this seems like the kind of game that is gonna be made for me to play and I'm pretty excited for it. Uh, I'm, I guess I'm really excited to find out more information. Actually, see that up on the roof? We got a couple people up there. I didn't notice that before, that's kind of cool. There's so many little details that we could sit here for ages 
checking it out. But I will link the uh, the trailer down below because if you're like me and you completely missed it, the link will be in the description down below so you can go watch it there, uh, see it in its entirety. But let's just have a quick, a little quick, uh, little quickie, little quickie. I do I do like the little logo as well, how it sort of flies in, The Sims, and then bye. <laughs> it's so good. All right, we're not going to watch that again. But if you do, yeah, like I said, if you do want to check it, click the link down below. Um, I don't think there's much else I can do at this point. I'm just completely taken back by it. Uh, yeah, make sure to check the description down below for more information. Uh, I will make sure to link everything and exp like explain everything down there so you can check it out. Uh, and then let's get hype. Let's have a discussion in the comments. But yeah, I, I mean, that's it. That That is, that is all, folks. That is all. <laughs> I don't, I'm so excited, though. All right, well, if you want to see more videos, I will be posting many, many more on The Sims 5, obviously, in the coming year. We're going to be doing speculation videos, rumors, all that kind of stuff. But thanks for watching, guys. I will see you next time. And uh, let's just watch the little, little... I want to see the terrain editing. There it is. Oh, sculpt their world. I'm so excited for that. I wish they had built a house on this, though. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time. And have an awesome day.